took the time to just, just no, relax no. and yeah. just get to know you. you get me? So I, I understood that obviously there's bits and parts that I didn't get to really know about you in the house. Mm-hmm. That, but the basic stuff that I needed to know, I knew. Yeah. And so when I came out, oh. I told you when I came out, I knew what I knew. Oh. So no one could convince me otherwise. Yeah. Like, I knew what I knew. Mm. You know what I mean? It's like when you said, like, I, 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 I couldn't fool you. Yeah. Like, no one that you spent time with in the mm-hmm. house could come out and actually fool you because we actually spent so exactly. much. Exactly. Do you know so what I mean? I so people come out at all brand new, I'm like, yo, <laughs> <laughs> not you. <laughs> we all leave with each other for, like, three months. So, I think today was a little bit free for me, so I decided to take this boy to the final place. It's just before he leaves me. So, hope you all are good. Hi guys, welcome to Justice TikTok. <laughs> with with her red dress. Ah, yeah, and it's, her it's, red it's, crown. It's, Don't it's, forget it's, the crown. The, the crown, yeah, yeah. That was like so like, yella. <laughs> yella. I be extra la way. Me and I went there with my, my shorts. <laughs> Peace out. And your Nike annoying blue slippers. Oh God. Oh God, what? Why why oh God annoying slippers? You wore those things and you I wore them with pride. Did yes, I have a thank you. Did I have a choice? <laughs> yeah. Big annoying slippers. Hey God. What did my slippers you, do to you, you guys? It was when you wore that shit for the life of Victor Shoes. I'm like, <laughs> who, who is this guy? I'm like, who is he again? The, 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 the first one, eh? Hi. And I was and, and I was literally like legit. If 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 I'm leaving this place, I'm going straight to bed. <laughs> I'm, I'm tired. Yeah, I'm just saying. I was like, you know, I'm going straight to bed. And I was like, no, they're gonna. Imagine, but with 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 they evicted me. Yeah. Where? Samuel. 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 Say Sakbaweli. What? Say Sak. Put put a K in there. Say Sakbaweli. Sakbaweli. <laughs> Do you know what that means? No. <laughs> Hope you're not using me to catch crew. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here you go. Justice for everyone. Uh, well, what does it mean? This is Sakbaweli. Sakbaweli. Mm. Ah, Sapa is you're broke in my head. It's like a slang when you're like, when you say Sapa, like, that means you're, you're broke. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, so Sapa well. Sapa well. Sapa well. Yeah. So, if I tell you Sapa well, I'm telling I'm craving you. Hi, boo. <laughs> Please. I'm a child of God. Now you're. Samuel. 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 Say Sakbaweli. What? Say Sak. Put put a K in there. Sakbaweli. Sakbaweli. <laughs> Do you know what that means? No. <laughs> Hope you're not using me to catch crew. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Justice for everyone. Uh, well, what does it mean? Just say Sakbaweli. Sakbaweli. Mm. Ah, Sakwa is you're broke in my head. It's like a slang when you're like, when you say Sakwa, like, that means you're, you're broke. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, so Sakwa well. Sakwa well. Sakwa well. Yeah. So, if I tell you Sakwa well, I'm telling I'm craving you. Hi, boo. <laughs> Please. I'm a child of God. Now your people can see you. they've been craving so you, you, it's it's possible you you might see someone for like three months or four months, five months, and still not know that person. You really can't know human beings. Do you understand? You really can't know human beings entirely like that. You don't know human yeah. thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. So it's crazy. But I'm really grateful for you know you and some other people that got to know me. Yeah. Because yeah, I know I can do a lot. <laughs> I know a I lot. Do, I, yeah, I can do a lot. Uh, a lot. I can be a lot, but that's how I know people It's that, you, though. When people still like yeah. me regardless, I'm like, oh, okay, you really like me. Yeah. 
Yeah. And I'm not trying to be perfect. Only God is perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I have my flaws, I have my shortcomings, but if you still love me regardless, okay. I fuck with you yeah, too. Yeah, it's gonna be an holistical thing. You yeah. Can you can't yeah. just like someone and just want the good. The good and the bad makes it good. Thank you. The For example, like my friends, friends, I love them because, you know, I love them. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed the live session, the live interactive session between Juicy J and Yvonne, they answered a few questions. To be very honest, I enjoyed every bit of that. And guys, they are so cute. Oh my God. Like their ship is giving altar ship. Makachuku. I see these people getting married. They are so... Initially, like I, I always say, I was worried about the age, the age difference. But come to think of it, you see, he's such a mature guy. You see, after the stones Yvonne pulled during his birthday, hmm, I hope she has actually apologized to Meli because she was so rude to him. How many of you remember what happened? Okay. Yvonne was apparently live with Juicy J. They were on a video call and, you know, Millie was with his phone on Instagram live and somebody was like, show me Juicy J. So, so Millie innocently carried the phone to Juicy J. Lo and behold, Juicy J was on a live video call with Yvonne and she got really offended because she felt Millie just wanted to, you know, show she passed what was going on. Mm. And she put out a couple of tweets implying that Juicy was chasing clouds, implying that Millie was chasing clouds, and that really didn't like didn't sound good at all. And I really do hope she has apologized to him because those tweets were out of line. She never should have put those tweets out. So, but seeing that after a while, and then her VIPs, I heard her friend wasn't really in support, but I didn't observe that her friend Idara. And I haven't really seen them chummy lately. I hope they haven't fallen out like Nisi, Bella's friend, fell out with Bella after Bella decided to go on with Shakes. Oh, well, the truth is, my people, when it comes to this love thing, eh, one thing I always say is just go with your instincts because sometimes people don't see the clear picture. And, you know, when you're telling people stuff about somebody, sometimes you don't get to tell them, like, everything you understand you don't get to tell them like everything so at the end of the day they will be like oh my god they wouldn't even i don't know like i said they won't have a clear picture of what you are about and they might not really give you the right advice you get so most times i always advise people you know the person you're dating okay so let me tell this quick story a couple of years ago, I stepped out with my cousin and we met this man and she was like, oh, oh guy, I heard what you did. Oh yeah, take five, you try. So I was like, what did he do? And she told me that he spoils his wife's city, bought his wife a car, placed her on a two million naira salary every month. So I was like, what? She now told me that I let her just know what happened, that there was a, the, the guy lost his job. I wanted to relocate, but then the link he had to relocate, the only option was for him to get married to an Oibo woman, which he didn't want to do. So he now got a contract. He got awarded a contract with Shell, Shell Petroleum. He didn't have money to, to you know, to carry out it, to execute the contract. And his wife was my cousin's colleague. She resigned from work and her gratuity was paid 10 million naira. She resigned because of her husband, gave all her 10 million naira to her husband. My cousin said, let her not lie to me. That even do I know that when she wanted to do that, that she personally discouraged her. I was like, no, don't do it. Why will you resign? What if your husband disappoints you? You know, don't trust men and stuff like that. But my cousin told me that this lady didn't listen to them or she did it and the man you know executed the contract was paid about 100 million naira and that was how the man you know he kept doing contracts like that and today the man is a multi-billionaire and he doesn't joke with his wife you see lucky her she took a chance there are some people that would have taken that chance and it won't work for them so at the end of the day when it comes to relationships i think people should just work with their instincts except of course except the person is physically goes goes that one i my hands no deal that's why i'm not a fan of bella and shakes because when it comes to physical goes goes 
count me out but every other thing i'll say okay you can patch people change people you know learn and unlearn i don't really like to judge people with their past especially when they have shown sign of growth ah god i bet i've talked too much guys let me sorry for boring you all bye